Hello, hi, hope you are well and doing great. Today I thought that I should design a test related to direct and indirect speech because earlier we have formed five videos on different parts of sentences that are dealing with direct and indirect speech. Or usme humne jaise assertive sentence, interrogative, imperative, exclamatory, and operative sentence in tamam se related in detail videos banai. So uh, I saw that there were a lot of views on it, so I thought that why not make a test in which you can check your proficiency in narrations. I have designed 10 statements and they will be dealing with the 5 parts of it. And if you feel any confusion or any ambiguity that you can't convert it in direct or indirect speech, then you need to reconsult the old uh, videos that I have formed related to narration or aap no see particular part se related aap log wo video dek sakte hain so without wasting any time let us move towards the test the first statement is he said to me where did you go yesterday the first statement is he said to me where did you go yesterday the second statement is he said to me hurra we have won the case. The second statement is, he said to me, Hurra, we have won the case. The third statement is, I said to Krishna, who are you? Where did you come from? The third statement is, I said to Krishna, who are you? Where did you come from? The fourth statement is, the old woman said to her, nothing grows in your garden. The old woman said to her, nothing grows in your garden. The fifth statement is, the police officer said, let us leave the wrecked car here for a while. The fifth statement is, the police officer said, let us leave the wrecked car here for a while. Sixth statement is, Sophie said to him, make the coffee a bit stronger. Sixth statement is, Sophie said to him, make the coffee a bit stronger. Seventh statement is, he said, water keeps its level. Seventh statement is, he said, water keeps its level. Eighth statement is, she said, may you travel to Karachi safe and sound. Eighth statement is, she said, may you travel to Karachi safe and sound. Ninth statement is, Shiza said, Zach is a nice guy. Ninth statement is, Shiza said, Zach is a nice guy. Tenth statement is, The teacher said to him, Do not read so fast. Tenth statement is, The teacher said to him, Do not read so fast. That was all about the test and I think so now you would have formed some of the answers in your mind or you might have written it on the notebook and now I have come upon with the answers of all these statements and you are going to check whether you have uh, converted the direct speeches into indirect speeches in the correct way or not and you are going to also tell us your scores in the comment box. He said to me, where did you go yesterday? So this is an interrogative sentence. So this is related. We have in detail about He said to me, he asked me where I had gone the day before. The second sentence is, he said to me, hurra, we have won the case. This is an exclamatory sentence. And when we are expressing feelings of enjoyment, then we convert it into like. He exclaimed with joy that they had won the case. The third statement was, I said to Krishna, who are you, where did you come from? 
so this is somewhat uh, tricky and uh, difficult for you because we have attached uh, two reported speeches over here and those are in the form of interrogative sentences i asked krishna who she was and from where she had come so you are going to use any particular conjunction that would be associated or you could use any uh, you could say comma or any punctuation that would be relate that would be easy to relate both of these sentences so i have used this conjunction and this is um, you could see that it could easily uh, combine the first sentence with the second one the old woman said to her nothing grows in your garden now over here uh, the old woman is praying or you could say cursing uh, any other lady and the curse is like that the old woman cursed her that nothing might grow in her garden the next one was the, the police officer said let us leave the wrecked car here for a while uh, you could say that it is part uh, it is part of imperative sentence uh, but we used to call it as a, a sentence that is dealing with suggestion or that is dealing with su supposition to ye ek different tarike se iska solution hota hai jo baki kisi bhi jitni panch types of sentences hai unse deal nahi karta to aap logo ke liye maine ye bhi iska part rakha tha the police officer suggested to leave the wrecked car there for a while sixth statement was uh, sophie said to him make the coffee a bit stronger now uh, you could take it as a order you could take it as a request but uh, if there was may and there is no use of may so we are not going to use request or there is no use of please to hum yahan pe behtar yahi rahega ke hum yahan pe ordered hi rehne de sophie ordered him to make the coffee a bit stronger seventh statement was he said water keeps its level this is a universal truth and i told you that when we have universal truth then there is no effect of past tense on uh, on the verb of reported speech to so, your reporting speech ka verb hota uska yahan pe koi effect nahi hota he said that water keeps its level she said may you travel to karachi safe and sound again this is operative sentence showing prayers uh, she prayed that i might travel to karachi safe and sound ninth statement was shiza said zack is a nice guy shiza said that zack is a nice guy this is an assertive sentence to maine aapko bataya tha ke uh, तमाम टाइप्स ऑफ सेंटेंसेस से रिलेटेड होगा तो अजर्टिव जरा इजी होता है आप लोगों के लिए बाकी जरा टफ होते हैं इसलिए मैंने मैक्सिमम दूसरे इंक्लूड किए हैं द टीचर सेट टू हिम डू नॉट रीड सो फास्ट अगेन दिस इज एन एम्पेरेटिव सेंटेंस इसमें उन्हें फॉबेड मना किया जा रहा है द टीचर फॉबेड हिम टू रीड सो फास्ट आप यहाँ पे ये भी लिख सकते हैं ये भी लिख सकते हैं द टीचर ऑर्डर्ड हिम नॉट टू रीड सो फास्ट दैट्स ऑल now uh, i think so you are going to tell your scores in the comment box and if there was any confusion you can ask in the comment box but i would like that you should cancel the previous videos if you find any ambiguity or confusion related to any statement thank you so much like and subscribe our channel